From the tallest railroad bridge to the world's biggest solar farm, India has made enormous progress in megaprojects and modern technology. We start with number 10, the Palace Royal in Mumbai, $380 million. India's financial capital Mumbai is also its skyscraper hub, being home to almost every skyscraper in the entire country. The tallest of them all is the 320-meter-tall Palace Royal, which is set for completion after years of delays. The construction of the country's first super-tall skyscraper started in 2008 with great fanfare. It was planned to be a residential skyscraper aiming to attract the city's growing elite. However, the building got entangled in several lawsuits leading to delays and cost overruns. Through all the court proceedings, construction continued and the building finally topped out in 2018. But then, the work on the facade and the interiors was stopped again. The skyscraper was auctioned off one year later for just $85 million, after which the country's top court approved construction again. While the construction has continued, question marks remain over the utility of the high-rise and whether it will be fully inhabited. The latest date for completion of the Palace Royal is set at December 2023, by which time it would have blown through a budget of $380 million. However, compared to the following mega-projects, these costs are quite manageable. We move on to number 9. Navi Mumbai International Airport, $2.3 billion. This project is part of addressing the congestion issue in Mumbai. By virtue of being the country's financial capital, Mumbai is India's most traveled city, but it has only one major international airport. The Mumbai International Airport can serve upwards of 50 million passengers a year, but is running to capacity most days. With just one runway available, the scope of expansion is limited at the current premises and airlines have struggled to secure slots for more flights. To remedy the issue and ease congestion at the existing airport, a private conglomerate took on the task of developing a new airport in 2017. Phase 1 of the project will be completed next year, easing the burden of about 20 million passengers on the city's main airport. The remaining phases will be implemented over the next decade, taking the construction cost up to $2.3 billion. The Navi Mumbai Airport would eventually have an annual capacity to handle 90 million passengers, making it one of the biggest airports in the world. While the airport solves a huge congestion problem, some aviation experts and activists believe a better site could have been chosen as the current site falls dangerously close to major bird sanctuaries, leaving aircrafts vulnerable to bird strikes. Number 8. The Chennai Bridge with a price tag of $180 million. Many of the current megaprojects in India are aimed towards better connectivity between different regions. One such project is the Chenna Bridge in the highly contentious Jammu and Kashmir region, sitting 359 meters above the Chenna River. It is taller than the Eiffel Tower and the tallest railway bridge in the entire world. Before the bridge was completed, the only land route connecting Kashmir with the rest of the county was the Srinagar Jammu National Highway. However, this single road is severely impacted by the harsh winters and remains closed for a few weeks every year. Fortunately, the new Chenin Bridge will remedy that problem when it opens towards the end of this year. In addition to providing a new land route, the bridge will also serve strategic purposes and allow India to exert greater control in the territory. Next up we have number 7. The Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, $2.4 billion. Another key addition to the revamped transportation system is the 22 kilometers six-lane sea bridge connecting central Mumbai with Navi Mumbai. The need for a sea link has always been there to bring Mumbai closer to major cities like Nagpur, Goa, and Pune. However, there were no concrete proposals until 2004, and the first four attempts to begin construction met with failure owing to unrealistic bids from multiple contractors. Finally, the government of Maharashtra awarded two separate contracts to build the Trans Harbour Link in 2018. This strategy has helped eliminate construction delays and the link is ready for traffic in just five years. Starting in 2024, it is expected to handle 70,000 vehicles daily at average speeds, reaching 100 km per hour. Number 6. Galera Solar Park – $3.2 billion India's emergence as a tech giant in recent years is understandably accompanied by progress in the renewable energy space. The government has set an ambitious target of generating 175 gigawatt power from renewable energy sources in coming years and the Dalera Solar Park is a key cog in that plan. 
The project is being developed in two phases within the larger Golera Smart City project and will ultimately provide 5 gigawatts of energy, making it the largest solar park in the world. The first phase of the project is currently under development and will be completed by the end of the year. While the whole project is tipped for completion by 2030 at a total cost surpassing $3 billion. If you enjoyed it so far, make sure to subscribe to Known Facts. Currently, over 95% of our viewers are not subscribed. So this would massively help our channel. Number 5. Sardar Sarovar Dam. $8.2 billion. The distribution of water resources among India's massive population remains a major challenge for the country. One project to address these issues is the Narmada Valley Development Project aimed at creating a network of dams, canals, and reservoirs in the Narmada River Basin. First proposed in the 1940s, the plan included building a series of dam and canal projects along the valley. However, as with most water and power distribution plans, the project has been the subject of controversy for decades due to its social and environmental impacts. The largest of these dams constructed over the basin is the Sardar Sarovar Dam, where construction began in 1987. It took another 30 years to plow through environmental campaigns, protracted legal battles, and disputes between rival states. In the end, the 1,450-megawatt hydroelectric project was officially inaugurated in 2017, with construction costs reaching $8.2 billion. The dam now irrigates land and provides electricity across four Indian states. Number 4. JF to City, Gujarat, $11 billion. Building on its recent achievements, India aspires to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with global financial centers like the United States, the United Kingdom, and Singapore. Gujarat International Finance Tech City is leading that push as it attracts the biggest financial players in the world. Construction of the $11 billion business district started in 2013, which comprises banks, capital market entities, insurance companies, and manufacturing units. To date, there are over 200 operational business entities on the 900-acre site, while international exchanges are turning over $4 billion a day. Major tenants in the Special Economic Zone are the Bombay Stock Exchange, Brokers Forum, and the National Stock Exchange. It is also home to India's first bullion exchange, which will help the world's largest gold importers to set the price standard internationally. Currently labeled as a smart city, India's biggest tech hub will soon become the GFD global city with the government clearing the path to triple its size. However, India is planning a mega project even bigger in scale and at twice the cost. Number 3. Zojila and Zimor Tunnel Projects $1.2 billion Kashmir is also the destination of a billion-dollar project that involves drilling tunnels to connect the valley with Ladakh. Two of the most important tunnels are Zojila and Zimor on the Srinagar Leh Highway. The Zimor Tunnel will connect Srinagar and Ladakh, making these regions accessible in the winters via a 6.5-kilometer link. The longer Zojila Tunnel will run for 14 kilometers connecting Leh and Srinagar. This tunnel is being built in India's most challenging terrain around the Zojila Pass. At a height of 3,500 meters, it will be one of the highest vehicular tunnels in the world. Work on the two tunnels will be finished by 2024, with the government already drawing plans to expand the network in the coming years. Number 2. Mumbai Coastal Road Project $1.7 billion In addition to super tall skyscrapers, Mumbai is undergoing major infrastructure upgrades in 2023. Congestion is a major headache for commuters in the city as the average vehicle speeds remain under 25 km per hour. However, a handful of projects will change how Mumbai travels in the near future. At an expense of $1.7 billion, the city will get a 29-kilometer coastal road where vehicle speeds will reach an average of 80 km per hour. The route also includes two kilometers long twin tunnels running under the Arabian Sea. The 10 kilometers long first phase of the project connecting Princess Flavor Road with Worli Sea Link is 75% complete and will be open for traffic by the end of the year. Number 1. Dollar a Smart City. $22 billion. As part of the multi-billion dollar Della Mumbai Industrial Corridor, this project has been propped up at a rapid pace. Dollar a Smart City will have everything from high-speed rails to expressways and a new international airport. It will host major manufacturing industries including electronics, aviation, and defense. In its entirety, the city will be 1.5 times the size of Mumbai, 
and is expected to house over 2 million people. For now, work on the first phase is ongoing in which the focus is primarily on improving infrastructure in the Central Business District. The next phases will involve development of the city's landscape and integrating close to 200,000 people and growing society. The project is spread out over 15 years and will be completed in six stages. Dalara sets the tone for eight further industrial cities planned for the future transforming India's urban landscape. Despite the apparent dazzle, India's massive, smart city schemes have attracted a fair share of criticism. Critics believe that projects like Dalera Smart City are a result of utopian urban planning with lower returns than the capital needed to build and operate them. Diverting resources to such projects also runs the risk of brushing aside existing urban centers that badly require upgrades. However, the Narendra Modi-led government seems unfazed by the criticism and has allocated further funds for these developments. Which of these mega-projects is the most impressive? Which other projects in India should we cover? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.